SpaceX will likely embark on a similar mission using a more advanced and resilient iteration of Starship. Many long-distance journeys lie ahead on the horizon. To realize this vision, SpaceX will likely need a new, more robust launch pad capable of supporting the future of the Starship initiative and humanity's quest for deep space exploration. Recognizing the importance of this development, Musk made a surprising announcement regarding the future of the launch pad, promising a formidable foundation for Starship to launch and return safely. What insights did Musk reveal? How will this ambitious vision come to fruition? Join us as we explore these questions in today's episode of NR Studio. During our last flight, we observed that the launch system operated efficiently, especially the suction cup mechanism, which deftly grasped the extremely heavy payload. This system once again demonstrated its reliability in facilitating Starship's ascent. The water deluge system functioned effectively, reducing heat and pressure to protect the launch pad from potential damage. The water systems, including the ship's orbital launch mount, OLM, and quick disconnect, QD, have not reported any significant issues. However, images taken after launch revealed that the OLM legs and shield walls remain charred. This issue has also been observed during previous launches, so it is not considered a major problem. This incredible level of performance is significant, especially considering the incredible power output of Starship. Equipped with 33 Raptor engines, the Super Heavy Booster achieves an impressive maximum liftoff thrust of 7,590 tons. That is twice the power of NASA's legendary Saturn V, which had a liftoff thrust of around 3,722. This impressive feat results in a weight of an astonishing half a ton. However, that's not the entirety of what's originating from SpaceX. They strive to develop launch pads that possess enhanced capabilities. Recently, Musk revealed that the new launch pad has been specifically engineered to accommodate the 10,000-ton thrust version, which boasts nearly three times the power of the iconic Saturn V moon rocket. Did you hear the news? SpaceX is set to create a Starship variant that boasts three times the strength of the legendary Saturn V. This highlights the necessity for a more resilient launch pad, likely commencing with Launch Pad B, which SpaceX is in the process of constructing. In contrast to Pad A, Pad B will incorporate substantial modifications to the OLM in the underlying system. The anticipated OLM is designed as a mobile system featuring a square configuration, which not only facilitates easier refurbishment, but also allows for swift replacements when necessary, thereby ensuring uninterrupted launch operations. The primary emphasis will be placed on the flame trench system situated beneath. The hexagonal steel plate utilized in Pad A indicates that water-cooled steel plates are not appropriate for the new OLM system. This is especially evident considering they have exhibited wear after only a few flights. In contrast, the flame trench system has showcased remarkable efficiency, evident during evaluations conducted at the Massey test site. A system that channels heat and pressure away from the pad proves to be significantly more effective than one that merely absorbs it. This innovative approach enhances performance and durability, optimizing the overall functionality of the system. Considering these benefits, SpaceX will persist in enhancing its systems. In addition to enhancing the design, it is essential for them to consider the use of more durable materials. The existing concrete and steel framework may not endure prolonged use. However, they might implement a secondary protective layer for the flame trench that can be readily replaced in the event of damage. We invite you to contribute your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section below. Your insights are highly valued. As Musk has disclosed, the new Starship will necessitate a thoroughly reimagined engine. To generate in excess of 10,000 tons of thrust, each Raptor engine must achieve a thrust of 330 tons. Sure, please provide the text you would like me to rewrite for you, and I'll be happy to assist. Boasting 33 engines, this variant is capable of generating an impressive thrust of up to 10,890 tons, exceeding the original target. Nonetheless, it is likely that SpaceX will need to implement gradual increases. The inaugural milestone in SpaceX's developmental trajectory will be the launch of Starship Mile 2, equipped with the recently unveiled Raptor 3 engines. These engines, introduced just a few months prior, 
exhibit a remarkable thrust of 280 tons at sea level. With its enhanced capabilities, Starship VP-2 is anticipated to generate an impressive maximum liftoff thrust of around 9,240 tons. During a recent presentation at Starbase, SpaceX announced that the thrust of the V-2 is approximately 8,240 tons. This figure is likely attributed to the engines operating below full capacity during their initial launches as the company prioritizes safety and performance reliability. This reduction is characteristic of early-stage testing aimed at ensuring stable and controlled operations. As we gaze into the future, speculation is already swirling regarding the development of a Starship V3, which promises to push the boundaries of performance even further. Musk has suggested that this iteration may achieve an unprecedented thrust of 10,000 tons. Accomplishing this goal will likely necessitate strategies that extend beyond merely augmenting the number of engines. It indicates the potential for the development of a completely new propulsion system or significant enhancements to the existing Raptor engines. While the Raptor 3 presents considerable advancements, achieving a thrust of 10,000 tons would necessitate substantial design alterations or the development of an entirely new engine to accommodate the immense power output. Musk's remarks could serve as an initial signal of SpaceX's intentions to develop next-generation propulsion technology. SpaceX is making swift advancements with the Starship FOSS 2 prototypes. The S-33 is nearing completion, and the S-34 nose cone has already been observed at Megabay 2. These prototypes are anticipated to be integrated into the forthcoming test flights, particularly in Flight 8, which is projected to take off early next year. The timeline for the 10,000-ton thrust version remains ambiguous. Further updates are anticipated as developments unfold. The creation of a formidable Starship necessitates substantial progress in engine technology, materials, and infrastructure. Although a schedule has yet to be established, the V-3 Starship may serve a pivotal role in SpaceX's long-term aspirations for interplanetary missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. However, the entire process will be expedited, necessitating that SpaceX prepares the launch system prior to the development of these versions. The construction of Launch Tower B has now reached completion. SpaceX is poised to expedite the development of the OLM and the flame trench for this launch pad in the near future. The deadline for the completion of the system's construction is set for January 25th of next year. This appears to align quite seamlessly with the launch schedule of Starship IV-2. Upon the completion of construction, this launch pad will undergo several months of preparation prior to facilitating the inaugural V-2 launch. Once achieved, SpaceX could enhance the launch pad to accommodate the 10,000-ton thrust variant that Musk referenced. Furthermore, it is essential to acknowledge the current system in Florida. Its significance cannot be overlooked. The OLM at Launchpad Florida was decommissioned a few months ago, and it is anticipated that it will soon be succeeded by a more robust system, similar to Launchpad B. It is quite logical as SpaceX has delineated a comprehensive launch plan for Florida. Please provide the text you would like me to rewrite, and I'll be happy to assist you. In this proposal, the enhanced Starship is set to reach a towering height of 150 meters, generating an impressive thrust of 103 meganewtons, equivalent to 10,500 tons. This likely elucidates why the previous system has become inadequate, necessitating the implementation of a new one. At present, SpaceX is making significant strides in the construction of its launch pad, evidenced by the fact that the launch tower was erected in a mere month. While the new OLM system may initially extend construction timelines, it is anticipated that as SpaceX accumulates experience, the pace of development at future launch pads will likely accelerate. This is also an opportune moment for SpaceX to contemplate the construction of several robust launch towers. As development progresses, it will be essential for both Starbase and the launch sites to undergo expansion. This growth is vital to accommodate the increasing demands of future operations. To accommodate an increasing frequency of launches, Aimed at achieving 25 flights in the coming years, additional towers will be essential. Looking further ahead, the vision extends to potentially thousands of launches in the more distant future. Catching missions are expected to increase, necessitating multiple launch pads for both the Starship and Super Heavy. 
This expansion highlights the growing complexity and scale of these ambitious space endeavors. This expansion will not be confined to Starbase. Florida will need to expand its infrastructure, as a single tower may prove insufficient to accommodate the proposed frequency of up to 44 Starship flights annually, with even more anticipated in the future. It is imperative that we consider these developments for sustained growth and efficiency. The dawn of more advanced launch pads is swiftly on the horizon. Are you prepared for this? Comment with, let's do it, to motivate SpaceX to bring it to fruition. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. This will establish a vital foundation for the remarkable journeys that Starship will embark upon in the future. Last year, it is anticipated that SpaceX would prioritize the development of a refueling system. Long journeys necessitate a substantial quantity of fuel. Therefore, the Starship tankers are expected to be impressively large to accommodate this requirement. The presence of several robust launch pads will be essential for achieving this objective. The global community is looking forward to the Artemis III mission, which is expected to launch in about two years. Excitement is building as we look forward to this monumental milestone in space exploration. After Flight 5, Bill Nelson offered his congratulations, noting, As we prepare to return to the moon under Artemis, our continued testing will pave the way for ambitious missions to come, first to the lunar south pole, and then to Mars. Musk responded via tweet, expressing his gratitude. Thank you, sir. I look forward to serving NASA on the mission to return humanity to the moon. This statement highlights the collective resolve of NASA and SpaceX. The goal is clear. Return to the moon before China and establish a permanent base there. After that, Mars will be our next destination. To achieve this ambitious plan, SpaceX must conduct up to 10 missions, each carrying 200 tons of payload, to deliver a total of 1 million tons to Mars over the next decade. The ambitious plan has been drawn up, envisioning the first Starship landing on Mars in two years, followed by a human landing in the next four years, and the establishment of a Martian city in two decades. To achieve this monumental goal, a more robust Starship is needed, which in turn requires the development of a more robust launch pad. Flight 5 has opened up new possibilities for SpaceX and its Starship program. This milestone paves the way for ambitious endeavors in space exploration and innovation. Many missions lie ahead, ready to launch from a launch pad with incredible capabilities. Only the most robust launch pads have the ability to lift our monumental rocket and make the seemingly unattainable possible. The strategy is set, and we look forward to watching SpaceX surprise us once again. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one.